Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. This week's class is a 60 minute full body power vinyasa flow. Yes, I heard your requests and here it is. We're gonna be utilizing the essential oil frankincense. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. We will be using a block. If you don't have a block, go ahead and grab a water bottle or even a can of soup. If you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also connect with me on all of my social media platforms by clicking the little icons below. All right, yogis, let's get started. All right, yogis, we're gonna begin with the application of our oil. We're working with frankincense today. You can apply this over your navel. You can also apply a little bit over your third eye. And then I always like to take any leftover and place them behind my neck. All right, let's get started in child's pose, please. Go ahead and bring your big toes to touch at the back of your mat. Now you can take your knees out wide to get deeper into the hips, or you can bring them a little closer together to get into the low back. You pick where you need to be. Let your arms extend forward as your forehead lowers down to the mat. And just take a moment to notice where the body is today. How does it feel? And I want us to check in with the physical body first. Noticing where sensations come up. I want us to check in with the energetic body second. How are our emotions right now? And as we connect in with our emotions, do we notice where they're settled within the body? And the third body I'm going to have us check in on today is our spiritual body. How are we feeling connected today? Let's connect in with breath. Big exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose, deep into the belly. Big breath side out. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, in through the nose, deep, full breath. Out through the mouth. Our intention for today is internal power. The time has come to stop letting existential circumstances dictate our internal power. We have been shown that we don't have control over mother nature, what others do or how others react. But what we do have control over is how we respond to life. We have a very special moment in time right now to say enough. Enough of these kinds of extreme emotional reactions, enough to others dictating our life, enough to a job that we don't like, enough to boredom we may be facing. Let's take this great reset to refocus. What is it that we want? What is it that we truly want to be doing? There is no more excuse of time. There is only now. The great rise is here. Our soul are, is demanding more. It de demands that we listen in rather than out. The time has come to stop letting existential circumstances dictate our internal power. Take one more inhale in through the nose in your child's pose. Big exhale out through the nose. We're going to inhale, press up into our tabletop pose. Go ahead and bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Press into your palms, pull the belly in, reach through the crown of the head so that the chin slightly tucks towards the chest, and then extend out through the tailbone. Nice, long back. We're going to spend just a moment here feeling into the body. I want us to feel grounded and rooted in this space. 
And I want us to think about where are we allowing our attention to go right now? Do we continue to look out for answers to our problems rather than pausing to look in? We're gonna come into a supported side plank. You're gonna take your right foot and take it out from behind the right knee and step your left foot out. Okay, so sometimes you'll see side plank modified with the bottom leg straight, the calf straight. That doesn't work for me. I feel very unsteady, but if that works for you, you can do that too. I prefer to have my foot behind the knee. I feel more stable that way, okay? And then extend the left arm to the sky. I want you to press out and away from this right hand and pull your belly in. Okay, and then we're gonna open up and expand in this. So let your left arm reach up and over and the palm face the floor, and then maybe slightly spiral the chest as you look up towards the sky. Keep your back leg down for now. This is the beginning. We're just stretching into this. I feel this need right now to expand, right? So we're expanding our personal space so that we can fit in what it is that we need. Okay, now we're gonna come into the other side. We're gonna take the left hand down. The left foot now is behind the left knee. And then the right foot steps out, coming into our modified side plank here. I know some of my type A's, I know y'all are in a full plank right now. That's your choice, full side plank, right? Right arm to the sky, pull the belly in. Now we're gonna inhale, sweep the right arm forward as the palm faces down, press out of your left hand, pull the belly in here. So even though this is strength, it's expansion. Stay with the breath. Look up towards the sky if you can. If it's uncomfortable, you can keep your gaze forward or down. And then we're gonna gently come back around. Find your way into your tabletop pose. Okay, tuck your toes, take an inhale, and we're gonna exhale into our downward facing dog. Now in our down dog, let's take some time here to pedal out the feet, bend into one knee and then the other, getting out the pops, the kinks. So as you notice, especially if you practice with me for a while, even if you're new to my channel, <laughs> you'll still notice my background is different. So I took about maybe six weeks off, maybe two months, did I do two months? Because we had to move our house around, okay? And because we had to move our house around, I lost space to film. Clearly I found it, right? <laughs> Accidentally, actually. And so changes, we're all going through changes right now. It's like the rug was kind of ripped out from underneath us, but this is the time that we get to connect in inward. Okay. Come back to stillness. In your down dog, I want you to press into your palms, straighten the arms. You can have a slight bend if you need to, but I want you to feel the energy coming through your palms to your shoulders. Now I want you to feel the energy work towards the tailbone. So up the spine and then down the legs and out through the heels. It's okay if the heels don't touch the floor. If they do touch the floor, maybe you lift the toes up, getting more into the backside of the legs. Pull the belly in strong. Now we're gonna inhale to look forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna step our feet behind our hands for ragdoll. Keep them hip distance here. Nice deep bend in the knees. Let your belly rest and grab onto opposite elbows here. If this is too much of a forward fold for you, you can take your elbows to the tops of your thighs instead. And just let the head hang, surrender into this. I want us to focus in today. We're using frankincense to connect in and up. Stay with the breath. Find whatever movement feels good here. Maybe you bounce a little, maybe you sway a little, maybe you stay still. Feel the connection to the floor. With this connection, we are fully supported. Rooting in. Then release your hands down to the ground. Toe heel your feet together. Let your big toes touch. We're going to inhale, come into a halfway lift. Take your hands to your shins here. Find a nice flat back. As the belly pulls in, slightly draw the chin towards the chest. So we're not trying to draw the chin all the way in, but it just a slight draw. Nice, long cervical spine, which is your neck. Then we're going to exhale, fold, bend back into the knees. 
We're gonna inhale, slowly rise. Come all the way up to stand. Once you reach the top, allow the shoulders to roll up, back and down. And then we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana, and just check in here, make sure that we're nice and connected to the belly. So as we pull the belly in, we feel strength down through the feet. Go ahead and bring your palms to touch. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Bring your gaze down to your fingertips. Close the eyes. But if closing your eyes causes you to feel dizzy or uncomfortable, keep them open. Let's connect in with our intention here. But let's take just a quick scan. What are the existential circumstances that are dictating our internal power right now? There's a lot. Trust me, there is a lot going on, I know, that we could list and point all of the fingers at. But every time we point the finger at something and say, look at that, it takes away from us. So right now, this practice is dedicated to reining in our emotions. And as we rein in our emotions, it's not to say that we're not allowed to have them, because by God, we are allowed to have them. But it's about noticing what we are giving our power to. Are we giving our power to the existential outside of us that takes? Or are we going to allow ourselves to feed ourselves, nurture ourselves, have compassion for ourselves, and fill within? Take a nice audible exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale in through the nose, deep into the belly. Big exhale, side out. Let's do one more. Inhale, breathe in your power. Exhale all the BS that you can. Slowly begin to open your eyes, release your hands down by your sides. We're gonna inhale, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana, palms face one another. We're gonna exhale, forward fold, hands through heart center or swan dive. Once your hands come down to the ground, we're gonna inhale, halfway lift. We're gonna exhale, plant the hands, get ready for our first chaturanga. Let's come into our high plank first. Okay, so we can hold here, this is option two. Option one is actually gonna come into your tabletop. You can take your cow and your cat and press to down dog. That's option one. Option two is gonna to be to hold high plank. Option three is your full chaturanga, only if you don't let your shoulders dip forward. Yes, inhale, <laughs> hinge forward as you exhale, chaturanga. Okay. The shoulders don't dip, they stay up. Inhale, upward facing dog. I have a tutorial on this. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back to the top. Big toes to touch this time. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. With a flat back, we rise. Arms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. We're gonna add on here. Left hand down the left leg, and then we're gonna inhale, lengthen through the right fingertips, and exhale, come into a half moon, but with the left arm down. One of two things takes place here. You have the ability to go deeper if you want to. Otherwise, you have this as your anchor, right? So we press into the left leg, reach up and out through the right arm. And then we're gonna inhale, come back through center, and we're gonna exhale, take it over to the right. Right hand down the right leg as the left arm reaches up and over. As we flow through this a second time this way, you can use the hand down the thigh to actually reach a little further and deeper, only if you feel stable and supported. Okay, we're gonna inhale, come back up, Urdhva Hastasana, let your palms touch if you wish, look up. Exhale, forward fold, but only adding on the hands to touch and look up if it feels good for your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, step your feet back or your cat and cow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay with the breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. If you're gonna hop, bend into the knees almost to the floor, press the butt back and then hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Slight bend in the knees as you fold if needed. Flat back, we rise. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, left hand down as the right arm reaches over, half moon. 
Inhale through center. Exhale, right hand down as the left arm comes up and over. Inhale, center, sweep up, palms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Vinyasa. Breathe your way through. Move your way through. We meet in down dog. Take a moment once you're in down dog. We are being asked to change. Actually, <laughs> I feel like we're more so being told to change, right? But it's not so much about, I don't want to look at it as a force. It's a gift. It's a gift. How do we adjust to the times that we are in right now? Okay. And it's okay if you feel stuck. I couldn't film because I didn't have space until I allowed myself to find it. Moving on. You're going to appreciate the break. You're welcome. Look forward. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. Step or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Inhale. Y'all know my laugh. You're like, oh no, what's coming? Exhale to fold. If you don't know my laugh, you're going to get familiar with it real quick. Inhale. Utkatasana. You're going to find your chair pose. Find where you feel stability within this. We are going to move with it a little bit, but for a moment, take the weight to the heels, which is where ideally the weight should be. Now I want you to bring the weight forward to the toes. Notice how that shifts the legs, okay? And then settle in. Now we're going to inhale, lift up onto the tippy toes as long as our ankles are healthy. If we don't have strong and healthy ankles, you're going to keep your feet down. Otherwise, heels are up, belly is in, we pulse. Five, four, Three, two, one, right heel down, left leg lifts, ekapada. Think about the knee in line with the hip, flex out through the left foot, take an inhale. We're gonna exhale, step it back into our crescent lunge. Take your time. Once you get there, widen the stance a little bit. So take your right leg out a little, as well as your foot. Let the belly pull in here. You can have a slight bend in your back leg. You want to feel stability here. So if you feel unstable, you need more room. Imagine that. We as humans don't give ourselves enough space. Belly in. Although right now we do have space. <laughs> and time. Arms up. Inhale. Now we're going to exhale, move. Once you're comfortable, move, change. Life is about change. It's the one constant. Bend into the knee. Take some time. Breathe into it. I want you to feel into this. Press the right knee open. Press nice and firm into your big toe, baby toe, all the toes. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, come into a supported side angle. Okay, so bend deep into the knee. We don't want to be collapsing in, right? We're open here. Then we're going to take the left arm up and over. Stay with the breath. We're going to do a yin yang flow here. Okay, so we're gonna be here now, but then we're gonna inhale. I'm gonna explain it first. We're gonna sweep the left arm, top arm, around and down, and the right arm up and over, okay? Here we go. We're gonna inhale, reverse. Stay low in the front knee. I know your thigh is on fire. Exhale, come forward. If not, you're lucky, mine is. <laughs> inhale, reverse. Right, yin and yang here, balance. Exhale, forward. One more time back. Inhale, reverse. And we're gonna exhale, sweep it down, release, vinyasa your way to down dog. We have our 19 year old kitty who joins us now. If you haven't heard, one of the changes that we had was we lost Princess, our yoga kitty, our pretty Persian. She passed away in the beginning of March. All right, let's keep moving. Second side, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back to the top. Big toes to touch. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, chair pose. You're probably questioning yourself, why did I tell you I was missing your classes? I don't know. Now you're gonna inhale, lift up onto your tippy toes. Squeeze the knees together. And we pulse. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Left heel down, inhale. Ekapada right leg comes with you. Flex the foot. We want to feel strong here. Even if the body is shaking, changes. Inhale. Exhale, step it back. Crescent again. Take your time. Widen your stance out here. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. Bend into the back knee if you need it here. Belly in, arms up, inhale. Stay with the exhale. Stay with the breath. One more breath in. And we're gonna exhale, open into our warrior two. Adjust. Our practice is about fluidity, right? and allowing ourselves to go with this flow. The left knee work towards the left side of the mat. Inhale to hinge forward. Exhale, supported side angle. Let the right arm reach up. Some of the things that I've been doing differently, I've been doing kettlebell workouts. My goodness, let me tell you, my body is sore. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do our yin yang here. Let's inhale, right arm sweeps forward, palm faces up, exhale, left arm reaches up and back. Then we're gonna to inhale to switch. Left palm comes back, right palm forward. Inhale, switch. Exhale forward, keep pressing the left knee open, stay low in the knee. One more time, inhale to reverse. Exhale, release it down, vinyasa. Up dog. Think about the fire in the legs, helping us to transmute anything that makes us feel disconnected from our roots. All right, that was round one. Take a big inhale. Soft exhale out through the nose. Moving on. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, step or hop back to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Utkatasana, chair pose, arms up. Exhale up onto your tippy toes, squeeze the knees together. We pull six, five, four, three, two, one. Right heel down, ekapada left leg, lift it, belly in. Exhale, crescent, flowing now. Inhale, open. Warrior two, exhale, side angle, pause, elbow down. Now we inhale and we reverse. Exhale forward. Reverse. If this is too much, you can stay modified. Probably should have told you that first round, huh? You're welcome. One more time, inhale, reverse. Exhale, release it, vinyasa. <laughs> this is what happens when I take a little time off. <laughs> we'll meet in down dog. <sighs> Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose, arms up. Belly in. Exhale up onto your tippy toes. Here we go. And we pulse, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left heel down, inhale, ekapada, right leg. Exhale, crescent, step it back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, supported side angle, right arm to the sky. Inhale, we're gonna reverse, yin and yang. Come forward. Reverse, lift the pelvic floor, exhale forward. Again, reach it up and back. Then exhale, release it down. Vinyasa, just when you thought your leg was gonna fall off. Good news, moving on. <laughs> down dog we meet. Check in with the breath. Are we allowing existential to take away from our internal? 
Where's your thought process at right now? Check in with the physical body. Check in with the emotional body. Lastly, the spiritual. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, rise, chair pose. Exhale, up onto your tippy toes. Squeeze the knees together. We're gonna bump it up this time. And we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right heel down, left leg lift, Sekapata, breathe in. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, supported side angle. Inhale, reverse. Left palm forward, right arm back. Exhale forward, stay low. Breathe into the legs. Inhale, reverse. Exhale forward. Last time. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, release it down. Chaturanga or your cat cow. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Last time through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose, last one. You can do it. Arms up, belly in. Lift up onto your tippy toes. We've only got this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left heel down, right leg at lift it up. Breathe in. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, open warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Stay low on the front leg. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, forward. Move the arms. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, forward. Last time, inhale, reverse. And you're done with this. Exhale, release it down. Vinyasa. That's an amen from me. <laughs> Up dog. Down dog. Stay. Breathe. Reconnect. You're going to inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop to the knees. Go ahead and sit back. Take a moment. Break time. I am sweating and it's actually kind of chilly here today. Hope y'all are too. It's interesting. I had someone reach out to me asking me if I was Southern. <laughs> I'm not. For whatever reason, I like to say y'all. And it's, I don't think I've like, it's just come into me lately, you know? Because we're all connected. Yes? Okay. All right. We're gonna move into our core here. I'm gonna give you options. You can layer it up, you can layer it down. You can sit and hang out if you want to, it's your practice. But I do ask that you connect into your strength with this. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, it matters what you do and what it offers you and your body, okay? So we're gonna start with our modified side plank, just like we did in the beginning of class. We're gonna start with the right leg, okay? So the right knee is down, keep the knee underneath the hip, like I mentioned, I prefer to have my leg behind me, but if you want to challenge yourself more, take the left foot and then you can line up the right foot underneath you. I don't like that, but if you do, good. <laughs> All right, take the left arm up. This is where if you wanna come into your full side plank, you can. We're gonna move with this a little bit. I prefer you feel stable and grounded and strong rather than unsteady and not strong, okay? All right, left arm up. We're gonna inhale, reach the left arm up and over. So again, breathing in space through the body. Now we're gonna exhale, crunch it in. Left knee 
left elbow. Inhale to open, you can keep the left leg lifted here and then exhale, bring it in. If you wanna take it to the floor, you can. Inhale to open, exhale, bring it in. I want you to think about expansion here. Open, I'm wearing my sports bra that reminds me of the universe. Exhale, bring it in, right? We are humans, right? Having a human experience, uh, I'm sorry, we are souls having a human experience, which is an emotional one. And by goodness, <laughs> if there aren't a bunch of emotions right now, inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale to open, stay here. And then we're gonna exhale. You can take your left hand down, open up. I'm gonna open to the other side of my mat so my back isn't towards you today. At least for this, it's been towards you enough. All right, line up, left knee under left hip. And find your way into your supported side plank. Okay. Right arm to the sky. And then we're gonna inhale, extend the right arm over, breathe in. Again, feel the space and expansion here. Then we're gonna exhale, take it in. Knee to elbow. Inhale to open. You can keep the leg lifted if you want. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open. You probably notice you have one side that might feel stronger than the other. It's okay, same here. Inhale to open. Exhale, bring it in. Open and in. Check in, how do you feel physically? More so, where are your emotions right now? Exhale, bring it in. Maybe not too crazy, wait till, till you see where we're going, you might get mad then, just kidding. <laughs> Exhale, bring it in. Open up, last one. Exhale in, open last expansion, and then you're gonna bring yourself back. Let's come onto the mat for our supported forearm side plank. All right, we're gonna come down. Let's lay on the belly first. So come into a little sphinx pose to get set up. And then we're gonna come take the right arm and bring it parallel with the top of your mat and roll over onto the right side of the hip. And then adjust yourself to where you feel strong here. You do have the option to stay down with this, but I do ask you do your best to lift yourself up, okay? But if you feel unstable at all, you can just come in and you can hold a forearm plank, okay? So we're gonna lift the hips, take the left arm up, we're gonna exhale, take the hand behind the head, and we're gonna gently bring the elbow in towards the right wrist. Open, okay, this is good for um, stabilization of the shoulders. Exhale to in, inhale, open, exhale in. Open, say hello to your right side body. Exhale in, open, last time to close. And we open, drop down to the right hip, and you're gonna take yourself over to the other side. Again, I wanna stay facing you today. Okay. Left arm is down, forearm is in line with the top of your mat. Adjust yourself to feel as comfortable as possible. And then you're gonna lift the hips up. Okay, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand behind the head. Now we're gonna take another inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right elbow to the left wrist. Open, close, open, close, open, smile, close, open. Last time, close, open, go ahead and sit down, bring yourself up. All right, maybe I should have planned for better hair. All right. What I've been working at home lately, my daughter's all into scrunchies right now, she's 11. <laughs> I've been throwing my hair up in a cute, it's not really cute, just on the top of my head. But you know, I figured I'll just roll with regular hair today, probably not the best idea. All right, we're gonna get set to come into our boat pose because what's a Mary class without boat? Okay, hands behind your thighs. Pull the belly in, lift through the crown of the head. We're gonna begin to lean back. If you have disc issues, you're not gonna lean back. You're gonna stay where you are. It might actually be better for you to come into a supported forearm plank. We're gonna lean back if we have a healthy back. Pull the belly in. Okay, so you wanna find like a 45 degree angle. Okay. Chest is lifting. We're not concaving here, we're lifting. If this feels good for you, for you, you can stay here. If you wanna layer it on, you can extend the arms. If you still feel strong and steady, lift the legs. You still feel strong and steady, straighten the legs. 
Go where you feel where you have the most stability and strength, right? This is internal power. How does your body feel on the inside? Does not matter what it looks like on the outside. It matters what it feels like on the inside. We have this 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and a half, 1.25, one, 0.5, belly in, and release, drop the feet, open the knees, inhale, take the chest, gaze up, exhale, round, chin to chest. We're gonna come back up. You're gonna cross at your ankles. We're gonna find our way into our downward facing dog. If you would like to take a chaturanga on your way there, feel free. Settle in here. If you're newer to my classes, You'll find I'm not static in my class when I teach online, right? So if I were in person, I wouldn't just be, you know, speaking. <laughs> I would be speaking, but it wouldn't be just the, the postures, the asanas, right? I want you to feel as though you are live in a class with me and we're having a conversation. All right, let's move on. We're going to inhale right leg to the sky. Have your block ready. Exhale. Step your right foot forward into your runner's lunge. We're gonna come into our awkward side plank. Left hand is down. You're gonna turn your right foot towards the right side of your mat. You might need to walk it back a little bit. You roll onto the knife edge of your left foot. If this is really uncomfortable for you, you can take this into your supported side plank like we did through this first part of class and core. Otherwise, inhale, grab your block, reach it up. Reach it up and over now. Now we're going to exhale, reach the block back towards the back leg as the left hip drops to the floor. Inhale, reach it up and over. Exhale back. Inhale up and over. Exhale back, drop the hip. Inhale around and down, runner's lunge. You're going to step your right foot back forward. Now you're going to drop to your back knee, untuck the toes, straighten the front leg. Take an inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And we're gonna exhale, come into a lizard lunge. So you're gonna scoot your right foot forward and out, but we're gonna use our block here. Take it down, take your forearms down. We stay for just a moment. Getting into the hips a little bit here. Breathe. How does the physical body feel? How does the emotional body feel? Come back up. Untuck, or rather tuck the left toes, lift back into your runner's lunge. And then we're gonna take it back into our chaturanga. Lower yourself down. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right side should feel a little bit more open. Left leg, take it up, breathe in. Exhale, lunge. Get ready for your awkward side plank here. It's called awkward for a reason. So your right hand is your foundation. Left foot is gonna walk a little bit back. Knife edge of the right foot is down. If this is uncomfortable, you're gonna take your modified side plank with the back knee down and the left leg extended. Inhale, reach for your block, reach it up, reach it up and over. Now we're gonna exhale, reach it back, drop the right hip. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, back. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, back. We're gonna inhale around and down. Get set for your runner's lunge, okay? Now get set for your lizard. Go ahead and drop to the right knee. For just a moment though, not yet, just kidding, not yet. We're gonna inhale, straighten the left leg, draw the left hip back. 
Now we're gonna exhale into our lizard lunge. Left foot comes over, bring your forearms down to your block. Although if you have your water bottle, you're probably not gonna be using that for your, your prop here, so you can keep your palms to the ground. Breathe into the hip. Each side of the body carries emotions differently. It also does the same physically. Check in with the physical body, how does it feel? Check in with the emotional body, how does it feel? Moving on, bring your hands to the floor, move the block over to the side. Tuck the right toes, lift off the right knee, step it back, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. You're gonna exhale, step forward, big toes to touch. Come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take your hands to your hips, flat back, rise up. Okay, so we're gonna use our block here. If you feel uncomfortable with it, you don't have to use it, okay? We've done this before in my classes, but it's been quite a while. Well, maybe you took this class recently, I don't know, but it's been a while since I've taught it. I want us to view this block. This is our existential circumstance. We're gonna be standing on this and doing some things with it. How is it going to affect us? Are we going to be like, oh man, this is dumb. <laughs> or, are we going to look at it for the strength that it can offer us? I want us to think about this world situation that we are in right now and recognize, is it a block or is it a stepping stone? Okay. With the right foot, go ahead and step onto your block. If you have your water bottle or your can of soup, don't do it. <laughs> Just use the floor. Okay. So we're going to step onto the block. I have a little trick. I like to kind of wrap my toes around the block. Okay, you're gonna take your hands to your hips. Now your left toes are on the floor, but you're gonna lift them up. We're gonna come into our tree pose here. I'm not mirroring you right now. I look opposite of you. <laughs> okay, so the left foot comes to the inside of the right thigh. Strengthen through the leg, hands to hips here. Try your best, do your best, do your best. No trying, only doing. Do your best to open the knee a little bit. Open from the hip, hands to heart. If you feel comfortable and stable, you're gonna lift your arms up. More stability, if you need it, lift your pelvic floor. Now you're gonna move a little bit on your block. It's a block, unless you have a cork block. Let your arms open up. Maybe even you go for a mudra. The more you allow for movement and tree, the less you're gonna break. Then we're gonna inhale, bring the hands up. Take them to the heart, ekapada. Your left leg is gonna bend here. Okay. It's okay if you wobble. We're gonna get set for dancer's pose. Bend into the left knee, left hand releases. Forearm out, palm up, grab for your foot. Eye of the elbow is out. Now you can stay here if you feel unsteady. Right arm to the sky, maybe you stay here. To move on, kick into the hand as you reach the right arm forward. Find your drishti, a spot to focus on that's not moving. Breathe. Very slowly, come back up. Release the foot, hands to heart, stay here. Okay. Now we're gonna move into our big toe pose or we just open the knee. Take your hands to your hips, option one, hand to knee, left hand to the knee. Option two, grab for your toes. Peace fingers around the big toe and then open up. So if you have the knee, you're gonna stay forward. Everybody is forward, left, foot comes forward, then we open, take the right arm out. Opposition, strength and opposition. Gives you your middle, people. Breathe. Come back. Release. Step it down. Okay, so my husband and I have been having this conversation a lot lately. Shake it out a little bit. This is the whole class on its own, right? Finding your middle. Um, there will always be two sides, but the more that we can find the middle, this is where humanity will meet, right? Okay. Now I feel called to do a class on that. All right. 
second side, left foot. Let go. I want you to let go. Shake it out real quick. Let go. Okay. Step onto the block. Lift up. Right. Hands to hips. Right tippy toes are on the floor. Although it looks like they're on my left, it's fine. Okay. Now we're going to come into our tree. Your version. You feel more comfortable on the floor. Remember, that's your option. Open from the hip. Pull the belly in, hands to heart. Once you feel strong and stable, which may not be now, lift your arms to the sky and then open. Stay with the breath. Remember, go with the movement, don't fight it. Arms up. Hands to heart. Ekapada with the right leg. Hand, left hand to the hip. Take your right arm down. Eye of the elbow is out. It's not in, it's out. External rotation. Bend into the right leg and reach around for the foot. Draw the knees together. Pull the belly in. Left arm up. Find your spot to gaze at for strength and stability, your drishti. Focus. Kick and reach. You're not going to go as deep as you normally would. That's okay. Think about that. We're not going to go as deep as we normally would. Gently come back up. Hands to hip. Ooh, did you make it? Okay, you're either gonna stay with the knee bent and take your right hand to it and open, or, peace fingers, reach for your big toe. If you're going for your big toe pose, extend your right foot forward. Now everybody, before we open, left arm out, take the right leg with you. Out to the right. Lift through the crown of the head, breathe. Gently come back to center, release the leg, step off the block, shake it out. You probably felt that more in your standing leg. <sighs> okay, so did we allow the block to be strength or did we allow the block to be just that? Did we let it block us from our practice? Did we give it our power? Did we give this existential thing our power or did we use it for our internal strength? Okay, set the block down. Come back to the top of your mat, big toes to touch. We're gonna inhale, arms sweep up, gaze up if you wish. Exhale, forward fold, let's bring it down. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale if you're done with chaturangas, just down dog. Up dog. Down dog. I am popping all over the place. <laughs> all right, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee to the outside of the right wrist, left leg extends behind you. If this is too much, you're gonna come on your back and you're gonna thread the needle. Okay, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then we're gonna exhale to fold. Remember, you also have your block. If this feels like it's too deep of a compression, you can take the block underneath the left hip, left thigh, rather. Okay, draw the right hip back, left hip forward, lower all the way down, forehead to the floor if you can. If not, it's okay, use your block. Come back to the physical body. How does it feel? How are the emotions? Gentle squeeze of the inner thighs here. Let's 
Stay with the breath. I want us to allow inner release here, right? The right side is about letting go. So when we think about our intention, and when I asked what the existential circumstance was that was drawing from our internal power, this is where I want us to see, feel, imagine, pretend that it is releasing from the body, the physical body, emotional body, and the spiritual body. I want you to tune in to the physical. Where do we feel it? Where do these emotions lie? And we're going to inhale, walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. Now, as we exhale, come into our three legged dog, right leg up and over. Stack the hips, take your circles. If you want to find a wild thing here, find a wild thing. And then gently come back. Right foot to the floor, downward facing dog. Second side, left leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, half pigeon. Left knee to the outside of the left wrist. Right leg now extends directly behind you. Lift the heart, lift the chest, breathe in. And then we're gonna exhale to fold. You're just switching the legs if you're in your threading the needle here. Do you have different sensations on different sides? My right side was really tight, which is where I tend to carry my stuff, right? I don't like to let go. <laughs> Although I've done a lot of that lately, the more we let go, guess what? The more we can let in. Breathe. What emotions come up? Stay with it. Relax the jaw, the throat. If you need your block, it should be underneath your right quad at this point. And then we're gently going to press into the hands, lift the heart, lift the chest. This is the receiving side. So as we come up, inhale, breathe in, let in. And then we're going to exhale, left leg up and over. Find your wild thing if you want to. Otherwise, stack the hips, find some circles with the leg. And slowly back to down dog. We're going to inhale to look forward, exhale, come down to the knees, walk the knees forward towards the hands, cross the ankles, sit down. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of a release for the legs here. Okay, so I want you to take your hands back behind you, take your feet out about as wide as your mat, and then you're going to rock and release the legs over to the left. And we're going to rock and release the legs over to the right. And again, over to the left, over to the right. Come back to center. I want you to find your boat. No, we're not going to hold it. <laughs> we're going to get set to come onto our back. Extend your arms forward and then slowly or quickly, your choice, your practice, lower all the way down to your back. 
And then once you're on your back, I want you to draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take your knees out as wide as the shoulders. Take the feet up. Happy baby. If it's too much to reach for the feet here, take your hands behind the thighs instead. But if you have your feet, press into your hands as you draw your hands down on the feet and then press the tailbone towards the floor. We're gonna move with this a little bit, but just take a moment, settle in, breathe. Let's rock over to the left in Happy Baby and then extend the right leg to the sky. Press out through the right heel and then draw the left, rather the right foot down towards the body. I'm looking at my right side, but I call it my left. It's fine. <laughs> and then we're gonna rock over to the right in Happy Baby and extend your left leg up. Now left for real. So as you press out through the left heel, you're drawing down on the left foot. And then come back to center. Draw the knees into the chest. Take your arms out to a T. You have the option here to cross your legs or you can just drop them over. We're gonna scoot the hips over to the right. I'm gonna cross my legs though. And then we're gonna drop the knees over to the left to gaze right. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're gonna come back through center, uncross the legs if you have it, draw the knees to the chest, and switch. Cross the opposite leg over, scoot the hips over to the left, drop the knees to the right, gaze left. Breathe. Gently come back to center, uncross the legs, draw the knees to the chest, draw your forehead in towards the knees, big squeeze. We exhale into our final Shavasana. Let your feet fall out as wide as the mat, palms face up, eyes close. The time has come to stop letting existential circumstances dictate our internal power. We have been shown that we don't have control over Mother Nature, what others do, or how others react. But what we do have control over is how we 
respond to life. We have a very special moment in time right now to say enough. Enough to these kinds of extreme emotional reactions, enough to others dictating our life, maybe even enough to a job that we didn't like, enough to boredom that we may be facing. Let's take this great reset to refocus. What is it that we want? What is it that we truly want to be doing? There are no more excuses of time. There is only now. The great rise is here. Our soul is demanding more. It demands that we listen in rather than out. For the time has come to stop allowing existential circumstances dictate our internal power. Slowly begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Roll your wrists, your ankles. Turn your head from side to side. And as you inhale, extend your arms up overhead, full body stretch. And exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Find your way onto your left side. And as we pause on our side of receiving, allow in what needed to come in from today's practice. Feel the connection to your physical body, the emotional body, and your spiritual body. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Once there, take your hands to your heart center. Take your gaze down to your fingertips or close the eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others. Most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste.